excited to be here. It's great to actually really see this turnout. I wasn't really quite expecting this, but especially when Claire asked me on Thursday to come and actually present here. Sorry. Uh, is the mic working now? Cool. Fabulous. Show your opinions, Misty. <laughs> I'm not a loud talker to begin with, so bear with me. Um, let's take a brief look at history. Basically what happened was I joined WISPA in 2007, and it was really clear that we had very solid objectives from a fundraising, communications, and advocacy perspective, but it was also really clear that we were missing something. We were simply using one-to-many communications models and basically just shouting our message out there, not really connecting or engaging with supporters. And, and when I joined, I immediately saw the opportunity to actually maximize results by focusing on developing those one-to-one -one relationships, um, namely social media, obviously, because that gives you such powerful tools at your, disposable, at your disposal to actually connect with your audience and start to build a network of supporters that we can connect with on a one-to-one -one level. So I really began with Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Flickr, um, and I documented results and shared best practice and my findings along the way so I could start to actually build internal um, appeal for social media. And basically what happened was I gained buy-in from our senior management team, and they agreed that social media was something valuable. And then I was able to hire some help, who's here somewhere, Daisy, I don't know where you are, there. Um, and I've been leading social media activity ever since. So this is pretty interesting because I'm actually based in the Canadian office and I'm leading social media activity on an international level across all of our organizations. So that's just something to say that even if your organization seems big, you can actually take it on and champion it and make things happen. So one of the questions that Claire asked me to talk about was why WISPA suddenly values social media. Well, not only does social media help us raise awareness, obviously, fundraise, recruit advocates, and engage our supporters by communicating with them in a real-time fashion, but social media also offers a very unique platform where supporters can actually engage with each other and basically self-organize for us and really help us achieve real change for animals by doing so. Um, this was definitely true for our Haiti relief efforts. Yes, we were in Haiti too, and we were there helping the animals on the ground, and we're still there. Uh, one of the things we noticed is that we were able to start an immediate fundraising drive through our social media, media network that we built up over the past year or so. And we noticed that in just over, um, actually since the Haiti relief efforts launched, there's been over like 600 tweets that mentioned us, which considering we're actually a pretty unknown organization is quite phenomenal. And we've reached over 250,000 unique readers through that tool. And one of the other statistics that we actually noticed from this operation was that over 50% of our donations were from new donors who had never given to us previously. And when we were spending so much time focusing on email fundraising and, and reaching out to our current supporters, it definitely demonstrated that reaching out to our social media audience during a time of crisis actually added serious value. Um, so it proved worth for sure. I just wanted to mention, I forgot to say this in the beginning, if you're shy and don't want to ask your questions in the panel, you can feel free to tweet them to me. My Twitter handle is Misty Meeks, um, and I'll try to answer them later. I personally think integration is key and, get, and is basically a key requirement in getting the most out of social media. And it's not even just integrating with your marketing channels, but it starts at the planning phase. Um, I actually am, am seriously involved in fundraising, communications, and program planning. And that gives me the opportunity to have a real bird's eye view of everybody's programs and, and objectives. So I can actually see what they're planning and then identify specific touch points where digital, digital integration could benefit that. And that's really, really helpful from our organization's standpoint. Um, while we often go off and carry, off, carry out our work independently, we, we are a tight-knit group and we can go back to each other for continual updates. And I think this is also really important from a social media standpoint because you need to be able to go back to your advocates and tell them what you're doing to actually help the animals on the field. And if you don't have the relationship internally, then you're not going to be able to do that. Uh, and having this ongoing dialogue provides me with the opportunity to share the results and the learnings that I'm finding along the way so that we can start to build up our internal social media culture. The more people buy into it, the more you're going to get out of it. Uh, this was specifically true for, I have an example on the screen, and I didn't really realize how small the screen was going to be, or else I would have just made it like really big, cute animal photos, <laughs> and everyone would have been very engaged for the whole thing. 
But um, the, basically what happened is I posted a story on Facebook and it was about this bear cub who one of our programs officers rescued and actually took to a sanctuary. And if any of you have ever heard of bear farming, it's a really great thing that that bear was rescued. But people were really engaged by the story and it generated like a significant spike in traffic to our website and it was definitely one of the most popular social media stories we ever had. So I fed that information back to the actual program manager who was mentioned in the story, who I never really talked with previously, and now he's incorporating that information into his actual strategy so he knows when he goes out on the field what kind of information our supporters would want to hear about. And without having that internal integration, you're not going to be able to actually um, connect those dots, basically, which are integral in social media development, I think. Um, Oh. Um.